The pandemic was hard. Recovering from the pandemic is proving to be harder. Last year, the number of people visiting our network partners increased by more than 60%. We see an increase of people from pretty much all over. We serve four or five different zip codes all around. The cost of caring for a family of four in Western Washington grew to a staggering height, requiring more than $100,000 for the first time. While our neighbors scrambled to meet basic needs, our partner agencies need more food to keep up. We are certainly bringing in more food this year than we have in previous years. However, it's going out just as quickly. We're focused on both growing our donated food streams while investing in strategic food purchases, leveraging our relationships and buying power to help bridge the gap. Many of the agencies that we support are so resource constrained that they don't have the time to go to three, five, seven vendors to gather quotes. And that's something that we have the resources to lean into to make sure that we are being good stewards of the money that we receive to tackle hunger and food insecurity. Our relationships with food donors, growers, manufacturers, and distributors are all key to helping us meet the increasing need. Cabbage, celery, onion, garlic. Angela Mork and her son Devin are making lunch today with ingredients they received from their neighborhood food bank, a Food Lifeline Network partner. Her husband works full time. Even so, they are unable to make ends meet. Once you cut out entertainment and once you cut out any unnecessary frivolous expenses, and it's still a bit hard to be able to afford the food with the cost rising, you realize you've got to just suck it up and ask for help. Out of necessity, Angela reluctantly stopped by the food bank to ask if she qualified for help. She was warmly welcomed and treated with dignity and respect. And I found nothing but caring individuals that actually saw me as just another mother trying to feed her family. There is no way I could have paid like this bill and been able to get the bounty of food that I was able to get by going to the food bank. Angela and her son now volunteer twice a week, an experience that brings joy to the whole family. I like seeing the people come in to get food and I like seeing them smile when they get the food. Because of this wonderful food bank, I'm able to give back and help them like they did to me. So it just kind of came full circle. Ending hunger doesn't involve just feeding people today. We are deeply committed to doing the work to solve hunger for good. Food insecurity is a symptom of poverty. So we work with lawmakers to dismantle regressive systems that hold poverty in place while expanding or creating new policies that strengthen lower and middle income working families. And we're making real progress. We've expanded access to free school meals, gained funding for Washington's Working Families Tax Credit, and most recently passed legislation to scale up food donations from grocers and farmers. Food Lifeline is building a movement we need you to be a part of, a vibrant community dedicated to the belief that no child person or family should lack the food they need to thrive. We can't let up. It's going to take sustained and strategic investments to further advance these systems level statewide policy changes. Changes that can really modernize food banking while also tackling hunger's root causes. Won't you join us today? Learn more about how you can join our movement and become involved in our mission to end hunger.